it's Eric here again and today is going to be an interesting video. We're going to talk about what kind of place to stay at depending on the kind of visa you have and how long you're going to stay in Thailand. And we're mostly focusing on Bangkok for the purposes of this video because again, uh, the Bounce Mile team is here in Bangkok. Uh, so uh, let's get into it guys. If this video is interesting for you, if this is helpful for you, please consider hitting the like and the subscribe button so that we can help to spread the message some more. All right. So let us start with uh, the two week millionaire kind of people. And this is the people who are coming to Bangkok for only a few weeks, just their yearly vacation. They're probably going to stay in Bangkok, Phuket, somewhere like that, or maybe travel around Thailand. What kind of place would you pick? Should you pick? And of course, it's, it's really simple. Uh, unless you're a more experienced traveler, we recommend that you pick uh, one or two hotels. All right. So just to get a good idea of the scope of Bangkok, um, uh, as we're talking about mostly Bangkok here, um, you would, you want to rent a hotel for maybe just a couple of nights. And this is to see whether or not you're going to like the hotel or not. And if you like the hotel, then you can stay there. If not, then you can always choose another hotel. But never go booking a hotel for like the entire length of your stay. That is usually a big mistake. Uh, just don't do it, guys. Okay. So how do you pick a hotel? Well, so we're on agoda.com. You could use booking.com. You could use another site like that. But we're going to use agoda.com for the purpose of this exercise. All right, so I'm going to pick Bangkok, okay? I'm going to pick the the um, place, that the, the days that I want to stay here. So I'm putting from the 1st of March to, let us say, the uh, 3rd of March, because we just want to spend two nights there until we are sure that this is the place that we want to stay, put some time into. All right, uh, we don't need to pick entry to Thailand, because again, this is after you finish your quarantine. So you don't want that option, okay? So you want non-program hotels, okay? All right. Uh, no thanks. All right, just the normal hotels. And uh, here we go. So you can go ahead and you can pick, you can choose whatever you want. Pick a hotel that you like. Look for reviews, obviously. I mean, I don't have to tell too many people here how to use a hotel site. Uh, this rate that you see here, especially on Agoda, is the rate for the per night. Okay, so you can look at that as well. We have other videos that can show you what areas you know to stay in Bangkok, what areas that are that are that you are gonna like. So that's up to you to choose whatever you want. Okay. So that's for the people who are going to stay just a couple of weeks. Um, so just imagine if you land in Bangkok, you finish your quarantine and you want to stay at a hotel for a few days, then probably want to head off to one of the islands. So you can now book a hotel in one of the islands. And again, I'm talking this way because uh, normally when I travel, I don't make a lot of advanced plans myself. I like to just play everything by air at least book the first night so when I get off the plane I have somewhere I have a destination in mind uh, that I know I'm going to go to and that makes things a lot uh, just easier uh, when you do that all right so the next one is um, your short-term people so these are people on a tourist visa that is gonna last from one month to about two months and you're probably even going to get another month extension. So you could be here for up to three months. What kind of place should you pick? Okay. So let me just say this. You're probably not going to get to rent a condo. Okay. We have tons of requests from people. Hey, can I get a condo for one month, for two months, or three months? No, it's probably not going to happen. Some rare cases it might happen. You might be lucky enough to find an owner who is willing to do it for a short period of time, but it's usually an exercise in frustration. So don't do it. Just just don't do it. Okay. Um, I would say uh, for this kind of stay, if you're wanting to stay in one place 
for like uh, more than a week, I would pick uh, Airbnb. Okay, so Airbnb is your best bet here. And um, you, the nice thing about Airbnb, you can choose different places in Bangkok to stay. So let's say I want to stay in the unknown area. Okay, I'm going to choose this. I'm going to choose my dates again it's we're going to be march here and i want to stay for a week okay let's say the first to the eighth check out on the eighth that's seven days all right add guests it's going to be just me one adult so you have children infants and all of that stuff here and one of the good things about airbnbs is you can get uh condos a lot of condos and so on and prices are pretty good at around this time right now $18 a night, the price, I have the price in US dollars here. $18 a night, $20 a night, that sort of thing. You can change the price, okay. I want no more than, let us say, $30 per night, okay. I don't want less than $10 per night because obviously you don't want to spend <laughs> the $19 or $10 per night place. That's not so great, even for Bangkok. All right, so I'm gonna do that. And I see I have a lot of condos here. I have good places. I always like to stay at the super host places because these are people that are experienced in hosting in running an Airbnb. So you're gonna get a good, um, good thing. All right. And as you can see, some really great photos here. This is a nice place. Uh, well deserving of the super host. Uh, label okay they have put in all the little touches um, nice place with a kitchen fridge everything and one of the things i like about airbnbs is that it's it's a lot like home so it's uh, you know it's nice to stay and there's no there's not the pressure of like a hotel you know with a lot of comings and goings of a lot of people all the time it's like it's kind of like your place nobody comes in you don't have to worry about a maid coming in and or not coming in or whatever if you don't want to tidy the bed it's up to you uh, if you want to tidy the bed before you leave that's also up to you sometimes you know sometimes i like that and also the airbnbs are a good uh way to learn about the city because um at least for this length of stay you can always um change the airbnbs after a week okay and um and go to another uh another airbnb so let's look at a couple more here this is punawiti this i like this area i actually live in this area um it's a more thai style area this is a more plain location okay and let's look at a few more okay um this here when you see uh, okay so if you're looking at a condo and the first photo is not off the room then that is not a good place to stay at that's just a rule that i have if they're not highlighting the room as the first photo uh, that's not a good sign something is wrong with the room and let us see what could be wrong with this room yeah it's kind of tight this is a pretty small place there are really no photos of the room or anything just one two three photos of the room Wow, that's not that great. I mean, you're not going to be spending your time into the building unless you're a workout freak. You're going to be working out all the time. It seems like they have a pretty good gym here. Um, you're not going to be in the garden. You're going to be out and about all the time. And um, when you when you come home, let's call it home, you, you probably want a good room to stay in. So, yeah, for $18 a night, this, this is not worth it, okay? Now, let's look at a couple more okay this is a semi penthouse okay on a shop house okay okay that's nice uh, uh, by the way a shop house in um in 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 asia in bangkok is usually like there's a shop on the ground floor and then you enter and you come upstairs and then there is your room so this is like a penthouse apartment i like the light in this one this one is really nice okay but it's fairly limited wow it's like uh i guess it's more like a nice no, separate rooms i guess there's a there's a top room 
and then there's a bottom room with the um, kitchen and all of that stuff a little unconventional but not bad okay so those are your Airbnbs and um, I would say I, I don't mind hotels for this kind of stay as well I mean hotels if you want everything to be taken care of okay then pick a hotel I mean it, it's kind of nice you know you, you pick a hotel you come back your room is cleaned up and everything like that and in Thailand you know you you know that everything is gonna be safe in your room unless you're staying in a sketchy hotel or something like that okay so uh, uh, for these kind of one to three month stays I like Airbnbs pick an Airbnb in different parts of the city for example if you're on not today next thing I would choose maybe Saturn it's like a different aspect of the city same price uh, area and you see oh this is nice I like this one twenty seven dollars per night okay this is pretty cool I, I like the light here maybe what draw, draws me to this one is the light there's a pool in the hotel the room is it's okay it's okay uh, it's nicely staged for a small room and uh, it's Saturn Saturn is Saturn is a little bit noisier uh, this, oh, this is near BTS, a uh, BTS two, BTS Saladang. Saturn is a little bit, you know, noisier and so on. But at the same time, it's it's it's, it's quite nice as well. And it's near the Lumpini Park also. It's one of the biggest parks in Bangkok. So if you're wanting to jog and exercise and just walk around in the park, then you know you, you, it'd be good to look on the Google Maps and kind of figure out, hey, where should I stay? This is Lumpini Park right here. All right, so yeah, so so that's for your one to three month stays. All right, so the next one is for the next one up is for the people who are going to have like a STV visa that is anywhere from three months to one year to nine months to to or if maybe it's your first year of retirement and you just want to get your feet wet in in Bangkok and find a place that you can hang your hat you know for up to a year okay so at that point we actually recommend a condo okay you can get a condo rental sign a condo contract for like six months between six months and a year and the best place to find a condo is on hip flat okay besides us of course I mean you can search for condos all day long on hip flat but you know if you want somebody to like negotiate a good price for you go and show you around all the various condos around the city and so on there's no better uh, set of people than the guys at Band Smile to help you with that. Okay, so um, you can also buy condos on hip flat, but uh, buying condos is another video. Okay, so I want to rent a condo in Bangkok, maybe in uh, yeah in Bangkok. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do some searches here and we can see the different prices okay this is in uh let us say we want uh in on note which is going to be swan long or prakanong okay let us choose a uh, swan long okay and you can even choose the near the bts mrt stations and so on and so as you can see here uh, not bad prices you can set the prices as well um, but we don't have to because these prices are pretty good all right so let's look at this condo here this by the way this shows you the amount of square meters 35 square meters square meters let's take a look at this one okay not bad not bad single bedroom nicely little sofa nice green outside I like that actually I, I like trees I, I, I'm not a guy that likes the higher floors you know maybe because I'm scared of heights or something like that <laughs> yeah I know um, let's take another look again I can just look at the little thumbnails here and see what's going on uh, this one has oh by the way most condos in Bangkok have a washing machine in them at least they usually don't have a dryer but they have a washing machine this is because you can hang clothes on the balcony and it's gonna be dried in a couple of hours anyway 
all right so let's take a look here i like rooms with a lot of light and so let's pick this one here but it's only 26th floor so hmm, yeah it's probably not for me but it has a nice balcony you can probably put a little chair out there or something nice uh, modern uh, bathroom okay the living room seems to be a little bit more spacious than your normal room and uh, what condo this is an artemis so can be 77 okay this is in the prakanong area as well near the on note bts okay yes yeah, it's, uh, it's right around here it's actually an on note road all right and this is your on note bts right here okay cool yeah i like that one too that one is not bad all right um, so as you can see, you can look around, you can find uh, condos. One of the reasons why you want a condo is because it's already furnished, okay? That's that's the good, nice thing about a condo. So if you're staying here for a year or a little bit less, anywhere between six months and a year, that sort of thing, then, uh, you know, get a condo that is uh, uh, already furnished and 99% of them will be. All right, so uh, let's look at one more. I like these condos. <laughs> it makes me feel like I want to move out of my town home and live in a condo. <laughs> no, 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 no way, no way. All right, let's take a look here. Yeah, this one is not bad too. They stage them quite nicely. Uh, they're staging them nicer and nicer these days, which is nice. It means it has all of these things already. Another thing about the condos is that you can ask the owner. For example, if you're working at home a lot, if you're doing, if you're working online, and you can ask them to put you in a desk and a computer chair for you, a nice chair for you. Okay. So I would say at least get a desk, and then you can buy your own chair because chairs are such a personal preference. Uh, work chairs, I mean, are such a personal preference. So you can do that. Uh, this one is nice. I like that one. I, I I like that one a lot. And so this is this is where you can find condos. So if you find a condo here, or what I would say is that before you come in Bangkok, you can start to look around to get an idea of what's available. One of the problems with hip flat is that a lot of the condos that you see here move around very quickly. Okay, so we get a lot of requests. Oh, can you find a condo for me before I come to Bangkok? No. Okay, and I wouldn't recommend it either. Okay, guys, we had a little musical interlude a while ago. It's one of those um, vans driving past with the music blasting <laughs> outside. That was a little bit funny. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, we have people asking us for condos all the time before they even come into Bangkok. And that's not such a great idea. Uh, we recommend coming, uh, or looking around first. You can use HipFlat or some other sites that they have in Bangkok, but HipFlat is one of the best ones. Uh, see what you like. Look at the areas that you're interested in and get an idea. Then, then when you are ready to come to Bangkok, now you can call us, give us, a, you know, email us, whatever, and say, okay, I like uh, Prakanong, I like Ekamai, I like Tonglor, I, you know, just the areas that you like. I like Siam and then we can find a condo for you in any one of those areas in in the space of a couple of days we can show you like three condos per day and you can look around and decide we'll shortlist and do all of the hard work for you all right so yeah so that's for the guys who are staying in bangkok up to a year and a condo i think is just like a starter way for you to get into bangkok and um and find out what the city is all about and understand how to negotiate uh with around the city and with the city <laughs> yeah you have to negotiate with the city believe you me and i mean that in in a very general sense not in a specific sense all right so so yeah condo so what about those people who are here now are you going to be here for many years multiple years all right this is when uh, i would say forget about the condos uh, and all of that stuff and let's think more strategic let's think more long term and this is where uh, for you who are retired who have a business visa who have a job here or who are going to have some kind of marriage visa okay then i would say that you should either pick a townhouse or a uh or actual house in bangkok these are going to be a little bit further away from the BTS, 
at this point you're more established in the city you're probably gonna get a motorbike or a car or something like that already or you know you can you can get a taxi every day it's not expensive um, and that is when you are going to get bigger okay best place to find a townhouse is on Facebook marketplace okay you can also look on hip flat as well okay see they have a lot of options here let's use hip flat first okay as you can see you have a lot of townhouses and so on so one of the things that you have to be careful about is that let's choose Prakanal okay so not all areas have enough townhouses um, so for example the areas that have a lot of foreigners um, and a lot of condos will probably have less townhome townhomes okay so I'm looking for like a two-bedroom townhome in this particular case you see the prices are a little bit higher okay um, but you can find so we're gonna go at about the same price as a condo okay so that's about uh, six hundred dollars per month Okay, as you can see, we have quite a number of townhouses at this point. Okay, two bedroom house in townhouse in Prakanong. <coughs> All right, so townhouses, yeah, you're gonna be more in a sort of a suburban setting. Okay, it's not gonna be as well appointed as a condo, but you're gonna have the room. You're gonna have the space okay you're gonna have the bedrooms because you're staying now in Bangkok for multiple years you're gonna have friends and family coming to visit and this is where you know you can buy a TV you can stretch out you can get your own furniture because most townhouses are not furnished okay and even if from what we see even if they're furnished you probably wouldn't want it because the furniture is gonna be pretty old okay so I I wouldn't I wouldn't pick um, I wouldn't pick that and most townhouses are more than one story as well just like a townhouse in in other major cities around the world so uh, like this one here is two bedrooms with 20 square meters this is kind of small I would pick like a hundred square meters something like that size is good okay looks pretty old at the front but let's see what inside is like all right so a lot of space as you can see a lot of space and uh, quite a number of people actually who have businesses in Bangkok like work at home businesses they they have a multi-story townhouse and they do the business on the ground floor and um, live on the top floors uh, you know Asian style okay so uh, that's something that you can think about as well. This is not a nice one for only, uh, what was the price of this one again? I think it was 300 and something dollars. Yeah, yes. Oh, they're not showing, it. oh, 312 US dollars per month. Yeah, that's not bad. That's, that's about 10,000 10, baht per month. Re really nice price. Okay, lots of room again. You can fit the whole of one condo into the half of the bottom of this place. One of the things about most townhouses in Bangkok, if you're into a lot of cooking and so on, then you're probably going to have to upgrade the kitchen a little bit. You know, kitchens are not considering that Thai food is so delicious and so world famous. Uh, people cook some of the most interesting and delicious meals in kitchens that are quite you know quite small and quite uh, this doesn't have a lot of stuff inside of it so that's something that you should consider okay you can see you have a lot of options for those prices um, with townhouses you definitely have to go and take a look at quite a lot of them to see what it's like see if you like it see if you like the neighborhoods some of the neighborhoods are quite, you know, are very Thai neighborhoods. They're not, you're not going to find any foreigners living in these neighborhoods. And for me, that's great. Okay. But for you, you might want to see another foreign face. Uh, but for me, I don't care. I, 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 I do quite well with people from anywhere. Um, so, yeah, a townhome, you can rent a house as well. 
that is something to consider if, you, if your budget is a little bit higher okay let's see let's see what we can look at with houses here there's not many houses here so let's go over to Facebook which is the next place that you can look at so there's Facebook marketplace uh, which is a good place to find a townhome I did a search already uh, maximum 25,000 baht per month that's about uh, eight hundred dollars US dollars per per month um, and let's take a look at what we have here okay uh, so, uh, Facebook has some really nice ones this one is near a golf course where is this oh. yeah it's near Ding Ding this is closer um, this is more north of central Bangkok um, yeah as you can see you can get some nice places to live that uh, that's just not the condo life and, and I recommend I yeah, yeah we've met we, we as, as most some of you know we have a nice cleaning company here and we get to see a lot the way how a lot of people live all the time and we always notice that foreigners who live here for many years working here and everything uh, they, they don't live in condos okay the condo life is is, is not uh, if you have some budget that you can pay about 20,000 baht per month uh, I, I wouldn't recommend living in a condo even a high-end condo unless you're unless just just your style is what you want but there are just too many really great options as you can see here for you to like live in a cramped condo I, I like my space I, I don't know about you but I like space I like to stretch out I like to sleep in different rooms you know I like to have friends and family you know come with me sometimes so I, I, I like that kind of atmosphere and the way I grew up as well I, I, I always had a home in the, in, in the States and I grew up in a big home in Jamaica as well so you know that's my style that's my thing I, I, I'm not into the little cramped condos and I, I'll do it for a year maybe in but no more than a year so I'd say, hey, you know what? Uh, the condo life is not. Look at this, twenty thousand baht per month. This is Bangkok, I think. This is in Bangkok too, but uh, let's see where this is. Proper thing. Yeah, it's a little further south of Bangkok. It's a little out of Bangkok. So obviously, you gotta do your searches quite well. And here is our music again. Wow. Uh, some nice Isan music for you guys today. <laughs> uh okay so so yeah so there you go this is this looks nice this is has some outdoors as well pet friendly two-story town and that's another thing it's not reason why you'd want a town home if you want to have dogs and cats and so on then uh, a town home is a really good idea so that's it guys you see um just to summarize again if you're coming here for a couple of weeks just stay in a hotel don't even think about it stay in a hotel that meets your budget if you're here for three months or less stay in Airbnbs don't stay in one Airbnb move to different Airbnb so you can learn about the city very easy book an Airbnb for two weeks three weeks whatever uh, and then just don't stay longer than a month in an Airbnb it's not because it isn't nice but you know I, I would love for you guys to learn the city some more okay if you're here for up to a year okay then rent a condo okay that's fine condos are throwing they're throwing them out for free it's like you can get a condo all the time don't worry too much about it just to pick the right one your choices are going to be like the neighborhoods they're going to have great facilities good security all of that stuff they're going to be smaller but it's perfect if you're just getting your feet wet and you just want to stay in Bangkok or wherever it is for a year and finally if you're here if you're gonna be here in in Thailand for a long time uh, for goodness sake rent a, a, a town home or a house okay and, and just get out of the condos okay so yeah that's it guys and uh, see you next time if you have any questions about uh, getting a condo getting a house getting a town home in Bangkok uh, hit us up at the link in the description below and our team will be happy to start working on for you uh, to find you exactly the unit that you want okay so see you guys bye what are you waiting for what are you waiting for what are you waiting for
What are you waiting for? Yes, correct. What are you waiting for? The world may not be in a great shape right now, but it's very possible to come to Thailand. It's actually easier to live in Thailand for a longer time than it was before. With one smile can get you the right long-term visa, find a perfect house, open the local bank account, or even open the business here. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below or go to bansmile.com and get started.